Hello and welcome to my channel, Sandra's Homespun Life. In today's video, I'm going to share one of my favorite crock pot recipes with you, and it's called Smothered Pork Chops. The ingredients you'll be needing for this recipe are four bone-in pork chops. Now, if your pork chops are thick cut, four will work fine. If they're on the thinner side, like mine are, maybe go up to six pork chops if you need it. Really, you can adjust it to how many uh, pork chops you want. You'll need a package of onion soup mix, a 14 ounce can of chicken broth, which I'm going to be using the powder making my own broth, a can of cream of chicken soup, a package of dry pork gravy mix, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and later in that recipe we'll be thickening up the gravy and we'll need three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. So for my first step, the first thing I'm going to do is place my pork chops down in my crock pot. Now for my next step, I'm going to stir up my mixture that I'm going to pour over top of my pork chops. I'm going to add my pork flavored gravy, my onion soup mix, my garlic powder, my chicken broth, and my cream of chicken soup. Next, using my whisk, I'm just going to stir this all up, mix it up real good until it's well combined. I have my mixture well combined, so for my next step, I'm just going to pour this mixture over top of my pork chops. Now that I have my mixture poured over my pork chops, my next step is to turn my crock pot to low. I'm going to allow this to cook anywhere from four to six hours. You know, it's going to depend on the thickness of your pork chops. And when the, the pork chops get to the point where they're almost done, then that's when we're going to thicken up our gravy. So when it gets time for that step, I'll bring you back and show you how I did it from there. My pork chops have cooked almost all the way through, so for my next step, I'm simply going to remove all the pork chops and over into another plate, and then I'm going to add my thickening to the gravy and allow that to thicken up. So first thing I'm going to do is remove my pork chops. I've removed my pork chops from the crock pot, and I have them sitting to the side for the moment. So my next step is to turn my crock pot up on high and I'm going to take my cornstarch and water mix it together and once this starts to coming up to a little bit of a boil and cooking really well on high I'm going to add that mixture to it, stir it in, allow that to thicken up and then return my pork chops back over to the crock pot. I've had my crock pot on high and it's starting to bubble a little bit so that means that the, it's coming up to temperature and getting hotter and trying to come to a boil. So for my next step I'm just going to add my cornstarch and water mixture into this and I'm going to stir it around while it's thicken up then replace my pork chops. Now I'm going to replace my lid on my crock pot and I'm going to turn my temperature back down to low and allow these to finish cooking through. And once they, they're real fork tender and easy to tear apart and break apart, they're done. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to plate it up. I have my meal all plated up and ready to go. And here's what it looks like. I fixed some mashed potatoes, some stuffing, and then there's our pork chop. 
So I've made this many times. It's a delicious recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. It's so simple and easy. And um, I, we really like it around here. But I want to thank you all for joining me today. And until next time, guys, I'll say goodbye. But I'd also like to say a special hello to my friend, Tony. So thank you all for joining me today. And until next time, guys. Bye.